Well, I asked people what they were interested in before the beta came out, and only this guy responded asking for template tutorials. So thanks to him, that's what you're all getting. Let's get started. The basic idea of a template is that it's used with an object type. Anytime you create an object of that type, it automatically employs the template. Object types, if you remember, can be found up here in the library, so we'll jump up there now. These are all the types that I have installed. A lot of them were taken directly from the AnyType library of types, but for this example, we can make a new type. So for this example, we'll create a new object type. So we'll click here, click create new type, and I'll call this store. Maybe we're tracking stores. Now, this is where we would be dealing with the interface that allows us to create templates and all the tools needed for those templates. So right here where it says zero relations, we're gonna to wanna to put some of those in there so we can use that in our template. So maybe we'll do location that already exists and maybe store name, and that definitely doesn't exist. And we'll have that just be a text. And maybe we'll add what they sell. Great, so now that we have these relations that we want to use, we can go ahead and make our template. So we'll hit right here with the plus for new right next to templates, and it will take us to our template. So we'll wanna call this something that, so when we see that in our file navigation, we know what it is. So this will be store template. And then we'll go down here and we will add, you know, whatever we want. So maybe we'll add store info, and under here we'll type slash relation, and this will put in the relations that we've just made. So maybe we can search for the store name and relation, new relation, maybe, um, what was it, the location? And then we can go down here and do buyer info. Okay. If we do three little dashes like that, we can put a horizontal line in there. I really like these for headings. They just satisfy something in my brain. Um, and then, you know, we'll put down here relation, new relation, cells. There we go. And so now, once we close out of this, if we wanted to create a new object, so we go, we hit the plus here, and we hit my types, and we search store. There it is. And we'll call this GameStop. They exist at GameStop. States, and they sell games. There we go. So that's the basics of making a template. All right, I've been trying to get this to work for a little while, and I can't really figure out how. So maybe this is something that's going to be fixed in the beta. But you'll notice on a couple of these templates, there's going to be two fields right here, the object type and then something else. Now, some of these will only have the object type. And if you click on the object type, it'll take you to open type, change type, or create set. And there's not really anything we can do about that, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm probably going to report this to the bug track or at least the feature select. But for a lot of these templates that do have more than one thing, if you want to, let's say, change what you've got here and add something else, you can click on it and it will show you all of the relations that exist, the feature relations and then the relations in this object. So let's say I want to show that it was last modified by me instead of somebody else. I'd click the star on that. Now that when I click off of it, my name's going to appear there. Or maybe if I, you know, I don't want me on there because I'm the only person in this vault, I could say, you know, well, here's what I want the tag to be. Now the tag is up there. When I click off of that, it's gonna say no value. And then when I create an object of this type, I could put in whatever tag I want. So that's how you would actually create these featured relations. I'm not really sure why they're not showing up as something that I could add in a normal template. I can't really figure out a way to add them, but stay tuned because I'll give you guys an update once I figure that out. Alrighty, well, that's all I've got for today. Thank you all for tuning in and I will see you all next time.